and in the movie of your life, you're, you're there also there must be things that go wrong, and they do all the time. Uh, otherwise, it's not interesting. And then there is another dimension that is accessible to, to con in, in human consciousness. There's a potential of realizing the vertical dimension as opposed to the horizontal dimension. And the vertical dimension is realized, you, you enter it as you become present. And as you become present, the stream of thinking subsides, is replaced with a space of awareness, awareness arises. And then uh, when I ask you, um, who or what are you, without reference to any thought, what does it feel like to be you, without reference to a narrative in your mind that you call my life? So, for example, in this moment, you don't need to remember anything about your life. But when you don't remember anything about your life, are you still there? And what does that mean? I am still there with, without reference to a narrative. What is that I am that's still there, that doesn't seem to have any content anymore? Without the narrative, there's an I am without content. This is why it's so hard to describe it or to talk about it. What is left is a presence. That's all you can say about it. It's an absence of thought, but there's a presence there. You can't define it. And there, you have no age. It doesn't matter whether you're 20 years old or 100. There's a, there's a presence. A beingness, a being. One could say, you know that you exist. Well, exist is the wrong word. You know that you are in that realization, well, in the vertical dimension. You know that you are, but that's all you know and all you need to know. Not, nothing needs to be or should be added to it the beingness itself. Um, in ancient Greece, the temple of Apollo at Delphi had inscriptions. Uh, one inscription on the, the enormous wisdom arising in ancient Greece. One of the inscriptions was, it goes back to Socrates or Pythagoras, um, Know yourself, know thyself, inscribed. Okay. And then on another side of the temple, there was a strange inscription. You are. And people didn't know later on when they looked at it, hundreds of years later, thousands of years, thousand years later. What does that mean? Maybe there's something missing. Said, Let's look more closely. You are. Maybe it got eroded by time. There must be something else. But they couldn't find anything else. <laughs> and a few people later realized the deeper meaning of it, and they actually go together with know thyself and you are. Go together. Know thyself does not refer to the personality, it does not refer to knowing uh, the, the, the story of you in great detail, uh, exploring perhaps hidden things that you hadn't known about yourself. There's a place for that too, but it's not is meant by know, the ancient, know thyself. It's not the self that you get to know th through going through psychoanalysis for 10 years. Because you okay, let's because there's always new layers of 
memories. It, um, oh, I hadn't realized that. Uh, that that's so interesting. My life is becoming so complex and interesting. The longer I have psychoanalysis, the more interesting it gets. Um, uh, 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 it, that has its place, it's fine, it's interesting, it's uh, like a movie that's an interesting movie. And people uh, like to see movies that are not only interesting, but uh, interesting must mean so things must, there must be things that, uh, that go wrong in the movie, otherwise it's not interesting. And in the movie of your life, you're, uh, there also there must be things that go wrong and they do all the time, uh, otherwise it's not interesting. So know thyself doesn't refer to all the details of your life, hidden motivations, all those things, repressed desires. Uh, uh, <laughs> know thyself doesn't refer to that. That's a different, a, a different knowing and a different self. A different knowing and a different self. The knowing the verb to know here is not used with reference to conceptual knowing, analytical knowing, knowing through thought structures, thoughts, words, concepts. There is a deeper knowing that is non-conceptual. And there is a deeper self than the conceptual entity that is the egoic entity, the self that the Buddha described as an illusion, that is the conceptual entity. There is a deeper self that in Buddhism is described as the no-self, and in Hindu teachings is described as the transcendent self, the Atman. So the inscription on the Temple of Delphi refers to that, that, first of all, the knowing is not the conceptual knowing. There is another way of knowing, and there is another self other than the self that you are familiar with, that you call your life, me and my life. So that's important to know, and the key uh, is given in these two words, you are, that is the key to knowing yourself. And you, you are is the realization of being, which is the transcendent self. 